Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. All right, and welcome to another Ask Me Anything. This is part two of three uh, from the Ask Me Anything uh, from our students. No? Uh, so again, I'm Cleo Mark DJ. I'm a research broker and a faculty of uh, the Lesson College of St. Pinus for the BSREM. So, ito mga questions na ito galing sa mga students na uh, nagsulat ng form survey. No? So, so, I ask them to ask me anything. So, sa part na ito, this is part 2. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung part 1, which is about uh, general brokerage. No? This is part 2, which is which discusses naman about uh, the courses. Uh, and as well as me being an instructor, the panel of the instructor, right? So, today let's start with our first question. No? All right. So, the first question is What is your most fulfilling and like part of teaching real estate? Okay. Um, in teaching real estate ethics, uh, the most fun part of it or most fulfilling part of it is um, me uh, knowing the uh, the insights of the students with regards to this ethics uh, in real estate so, uh, an ethical mga real estate ethical dilemma so mga real estate issues and uh, yung the, 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 the idea or uh, the activities na like to share yung mga students about how they use these real estate issues and yung dilemma sila. and eventually no, at the end of the at the end of the class uh, nare-realize nila kung ano yung dapat gawin when it comes pag dumating sila sa ganitong mga dilemma so so I think yun yung most fulfilling part for me and yung nag-share talaga sila yun yung pinakagusto ko na nag-share talaga sila ng, ng insights sila when it comes to this yan okay next do you have any tips or hacks on how we can handle our time efficiently and be productive, especially when we are not motivated to accomplish every assignment or homework we have. Ayan. Tips? Uh, ano ba? Siguro for me, no, yung estudyante ako, ang pinaka-motivation, ano ba motivation ko na? Motivation ko makatapos eh. <laughs> Pero hindi. Um, um, Medyo different kasi ang engineering when it comes to real estate or business in general. Sobrang magkaiba. Um, pero siguro, number one would be, it would help if you would um, study in advance. Or study after class. Agad. So, you take down notes. Number one, you take down notes. Marami ko nakikita, hindi na nag-take down notes. No? Pero nung time namin, you do take down notes. No? Kahit, uh, usually ako sa notebook. Ganyan. And then, sample exam, yun, doon kami palagi nag-aaral on that. Um, pag may assignment, ginagawa namin agad. No? Most of the time, group work. I mean, nagtutulungan kami. So, paano yan? Paano yan? So, yun yung ginagawa namin. And, um, I think, mahirap may motivate yung sarili mo eh. Mahirap talaga siya. So, you have to work with others, you know, uh, with regard to that. Kasi, kung ikaw mismo wala kang motivation to finish, you have to find other people na motivated. So, hilahan. Hilahan kay pataas. Hindi kayo hilahan pa ba? <laughs> okay. Uh, kasi most of the time, hindi naman kayo sabay-sabay na na-demotivate. Eh. So, possible na iba at this time, medyo ayaw gumawa ng homework or whatever. Sige, bahala na lang. Um, some of them naman, very motivated. No? Kasi, hindi yung nagiging sa, sa topic, ganyan, alam niya na important important yung tinuturo. And, and, and I think lahat naman to is important, especially in, in real estate. No? Um, yung mga topics naman is ginagamit talaga doon sa real estate. 
in the future. All right. So yun lang siguro. Um, find the group. You know. Kaya ako kay binigyan ng accountability partner. You know, that's one way of of using that um, partnership, you know, accountability partner, is to to have someone to look over you, or for you to look for, you know, may tinitingnan ka, oh, hindi ka pa gumagawa ng assignment, ganyan, so what's assignment? So, ganun siya. Yun yung isa rin sa uh, system na ginawa ko in place, o nilagay ko in place, for you to be able to finish your activity. So, ganun siya. Gamitin nyo. Gamitin nyo siya. Okay, next. Expectations sa student. Ako, siguro ano, uh, isa lang yung gusto ko talaga na tandaan ng bawat isa. Yung goal yun rin lang. Do unto others what you want others to unto you. And you don't do unto others what you don't want others to unto you. So, ganun lang. Um, palit, isipin mo na lang kung magkapalit tayo ng situation. What would you want as a teacher sa mga students mo? Ganun lang din ko. Yun din yung gusto ko. Alright. So, yun lang. Um, pero most of the time, I don't expect. Kasi, wala eh. Ewan ko. Uh, I don't expect that much. Uh, hindi ko pinapairal yung pagiging controller ko um, when it comes to the class. So, uh, at times, I get, ano, may mga times na medyo irritating na talaga. Pero, yun nga, I, I just need to calm myself and everything um, para hindi, 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 ano, hindi mag-manifest yung ganun. Um, hindi ko ma-ilaba, kumbaga, especially during class. Next is <laughs> ayan medyo ano medyo basta medyo lenient naman ako when lalo na ako nagko-communicate yung yung mga students pero ayun na um respect begets respect so, so I respect you pero you must respect me as well as your instructor so, next is pet peeve pet peeve for students siguro ano Pinakaayaw kong mga estudyante. Yung mga GC, grade conscious puno, pero hindi naman performer. Hindi naman nagpe-perform well. Na manghihingi ng uh, sir, ano, ganito, uh, additional ay, pwede ba ang ano, 3.5 kasi nagahabol ako ng ano, ng owner student or whatever. Na hindi naman siya nagpe-perform ng maayos, hindi naman maganda grade siya sa quizzes late naman siya mag-submit ng mga submissions niya, mga activities, hindi naman maayos makipag makipag uh, gumawa ng group work, no? hindi rin maganda yung yung ano niya sa group, pakikisama, di ba? So parang ikaw, uh, for me kasi, ikaw gumagawa ng grade po, no? as a student, ikaw gumagawa ng grade po. So huwag mong iasa sa atin yung, yung grade, kasi ako, nag-grade lang ako pero yung kung ano yung ginegrade no? most of, and most of the time very objective naman ako kung ano yung grade mo dyan yun yung grade mo um, and may mga rubrics naman akong binibigay no? so ganun siya yun lang so for, for the longest time yun talaga yung pinakaayaw ko ayaw ko sa mga students so, Next, what can we expect for this upcoming term? This upcoming term, no? So, actually, na, ano na, nagyong pang ilang weeks na ba? Fifth week na natin, no? Um, expect that you will not be contained in a parang lecture-lecture lang, no? So, most of the time, kapag face-to-face tayo, activities yan, is either may reporting tayo or may activities tayong gagawin, so, with with the class, with your accountability partner or with your group, ganyan. So ganon yung ginagawa ko. Um, why? Because sayang yung learning, sayang yung learning from from the interaction or the activity itself. Yung mga tinuturo namin dito 
that's good. You, know, you being curious, it's good to have uh, curiosity in anything because it opens us to, to new things, to new learning. So that's good. I like to offer, additionally, I'd like to assert that my instructor is committed to reading and addressing all the questions to post in each module, even during group discussions. Yes, actually, we don't have to talk many data on that. Um, with regards to the authority first, establishing a customer relationship management system, what are the key components of, and benefits of such a system? Siguro, dun sa, sa course na matututunan niyo naman yan. How can it enhance our ability to provide support to our clients? Okay, when it comes to creating a system of recruiting, training, monitoring, those persons and accounts, what are the essential elements we should focus on and how can this system help us leverage our efforts and increase our earning capacity? Okay, in real estate kasi, so, meron kang dalawang um, sinaserve. Number one, sinaserve mo, syempre, yung mga clients natin, mga buyers na, kung buyers or kung, kung ano mang clients yan, yung appraisal or consultant. Pangalawa, sinaserve mo, since you're real estate group professional, so, your team. So, so hindi mag mo, uh, you as a leader, uh, re leader ka, no, if you, if you handle that, if you are managing a team, your own team, no, ikaw yung leader eh. So, dapat nag-serve ka sa kanila. Hindi lang sila yung nag-serve sa'yo. Bakit? The more you serve other people, no, the more they want to be. So, um, and hindi ka rin naman, alam mo yun, hindi, hindi ka mag-grow hindi mag-grow yung team mo kung walang mga tao na nakapalitin sa'yo. So, magiging ano ka lang, solo broker. Um, but at the end of the day, kung gusto mo talaga um, to grow your your business, so you have to have your own. Uh, ayan, yung sa customer relationship management system, it's just a tool to keep track of your customer. So, so, ano yung ano na yung mga napag-usapan, ano na yung next stage nung, nung interaction nyo, ganyan. Um, basically, itong mga systems are in place. So, sinuturo natin yung mga systems for you to be able to manage your business well. So, yeah. May hirap yung wala kang system, tapos, ah, basta, bahala na. <laughs> Di mo na alam. Ulit, parang ulit-ulit ka lang. Meaning, kunyari, nasabi na sa'yo kung ayun ang kailangan nila, tapos hindi mo nilista or whatever, hindi ka nag-take down. No? Pag in, inulit mo na naman, tinanong ka na, tinanong na naman sila, diba? off yun. Eh, parang sinabi ko na sa'yo, last time, bakit hindi mo na tinandaan? Ganun siya. Actually, isa yun sa mga ano, sa tinuro sa lecture ng training ng Avita, you know, uh, with regard to VIP classes. So I I think you you it's the ano naman in general kahit hindi yan BIC BIC clients um important yun na uh, alam mo kung anong nasa stage na sila ano yung mga sinabi nila sa iyo ano yung mga disclose nila sa iyo sa uh, yun and it will be able to provide better support to your clients kasi nga alam mo na yung napag-usapan alam mo yung needs nila ano yung alam mo what nila um and also sa research yung kasi, meron tayong um, gagawin business plan at the end of the term. So, ano yung business plan? It's it's a manual lang naman. Hindi siya business plan talaga. But it's a manual for you to be able to, para meron kang guide on your business uh, when building a business. Okay. So, it's a, it's a guideline or it's a manual for you uh, that you can use uh, in, building, in building your business in the future. All right. Next. Eto, sa mga questions na parang pet peeve ko to. I didn't get a passing score in my quiz activity exam. I am allowed to get a special test activity. The only way that I will give a special test activity is if it is for everyone, not just for that specific person. No. Um hindi ko gagawin niya. So, kung manghihingi ka ng special exam, special activities, special quiz, bibigay ko yan sa lahat. 
hindi lang sa'yo. Alright? Hindi lang sa'yo. So, yeah. So, yun yung isa sa mga ayokong ayokong um, GC na ano mo yun? On the first place, dapat ginalingan mo dun sa quick activity system. Uh, regardless kung anong kung anong nangyari sa iyo ah uh, kasi tiniting na uto at lahat tayo may kinadaanan okay so lahat tayo may kinadaanan hindi mo pwedeng idahilan na ah kasi ganito ganyan okay okay so i think ayun nga kung magbibigay man ako regardless kung pagsak diba ikaw It's for everyone, not just for you. Okay. So yeah. Um, how will you make the online meeting and face-to-face class informative and engaging as possible? Ayan, siguro in, in my in my experience, no, and what I'm doing then, uh, more more on engagement, more on activities, talaga, more on sharing. Uh, what I learned, oh. In teaching, and in, in, actually hindi in teaching. Hindi ako learn as a teacher, as a licensed teacher, no? pero I learn in um, training and workshop. So what we do in training and workshop, um, activities, no? malaking part yung activities, lecture, um, tatlo lang yan, activities, lectures, saka share. Kasi the share will give you And the lectures will give you the instruction on to do on how to do the activities, no? and also the debriefing on what the activity is all about. Ano yung pwede matutunan on that, and the share will give the insights of the students, no, with regards to um the activity. So parang ganon. So it's 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 a different. type of learning, it's a one-way learning. Sa ako, turo ko sa inyo ito, da 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 uh, na ito yung insight ko and everything with regards to this, uh, regards to this um, topic. So, I get also shared from you. So, kasi possible na meron akong makuwabagong idea na, ah, oh man, tama pala yun. So, ganun. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, Uh, I'm not the most knowledgeable person. No? Uh, si- kung, kung gusto niyo ng most knowledgeable person to be your instructor, si Google, mag-Google, Google mo lang, di ba? Pero siguro, yun nga, um, my, uh, what I do is to to be able to engage everyone in the class, no? to share their learning as well. Kasi we learn from each other, hindi lang naman one way and again. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, next is an interest, an um, interesting subject matter for Sir Mark. Maybe how he envisage and decide and envisage and envisage creating a genuinely memorable journey for us aspiring graduate professionals. Further, furthermore, I'm curious to see how he will alter our realistic thoughts and behavior. I'm wondering about his approach to developing long-term values that go beyond transactions. How does he intend to bridge to bridge the gap between theory and real world realistic application? I I'm intrigued by his approach to encouraging critical decision making and responsible growth, so that our path na is not only successful but meaningful both professionally and emotionally. Ayo na haba. Pero yung atulad na sabi ko, more on activity tayo, more on sharing. Ah, yeah. uh, magshare ako ng story ko, magshare din kayo ng alam niyo, kita ano yung learn from that. Uh, activities, activities naman um, meron tayong mga activities you do the activities and then after that share ko ano yung activity all about and share masishare kayo na ano yung natutunan nyo yung narealize nyo with the activities ito na lang ka um, and I think that's one of the ways that I can do no, to bridge the gap between theory and real world kasi kasi The only thing that could bridge theory and real world is to do the actual thing. <laughs> to communicate with buyers, do the customer 
journey process. Pas na journey na, so, madaanan niya lahat yun. Wala, yun lang yung way. <laughs> yun lang talaga yung way. Pero yung ginagawa natin, parang mag-simulate lang ako na activities that will lead you to, that will help you no, uh, navigate this. Thing. So, ayos yun nga. Um, sa sa review meron yan ano um different topic no salesmanship ay uh, building a team communication and eventually sa face to face ko yan and also ayun nga uh, nag-invite ako for this is for research you know uh, nag-invite ako ng mga people in relative not just brokers you know, but people in who are in the real estate na could help you know, with their experiences uh, with their experiences na makatulong for, for, for you to, to be able to learn more about real estate. Yeah. Okay. So, and what to expect in this course? Refer to you. Actually, di ba tatlo yung course ko? Uh, refer to you, refix and remarket. So, research is more about real estate sales and service quality. So, it's all about the customer journey you know, and your responsibility as a real estate practitioner or real estate broker. So, sa Refix naman, it's more on you knowing your your inner core, inner ethics, kanya, your values and principles you know, um, by being able to study the different ethical principles that we have. So, be able to create your own principles. Right? Uh, when when doing uh when doing a relative transaction. So um I think there's no wrong or right answer in Reddit. Siguro ang ang pinaka wrong ang pinaka mali mo lang magawa is when you uh, disobey the law. Yeah. So, yun lang siya. Okay? So, marami kasing ethical dilemma sa encapsulal escape. And, ayun nga, uh, it's up to you on how you will tackle this situation. Okay? Kasi, so, remarbi naman, it's more of a marketing plan, market, market study. And, yung sa remarbe ko naman kasi it's more on the tutorial tutorial basis pero ayun nga I will, will most will, will make the most out of our class naman sige next can I see your presentation on remarbe yes sige so papakita ko naman yan uh, naka-upload na ba yan sa ano sa google drive uh, next will you give hard exams for third exam ah uh, sa ngayon kasi Medyo madadali pa yung exam. Uh, more on multiple choice questions. May ibang essay. Pero if, if you nari, nakikinig ka sa akin sa class, nagbabasa ng modules, nagbabasa ng references, madali lang yan. Madali lang yan. Maraming problem solving. Um, o, oh, wala. Walang problem solving. Kasi wala naman din ganun sa board. Meron, pero hindi gano'ng harap. At hindi ko subject. Meron pala, ah, financing, eh, mga ganyan. Pero madali lang. Madali lang siya. Um, I think. <laughs> I think. So, gano'n. So, depende. Depende. Tingnan nyo na lang. Okay? Uh, it's a subject for the students easily pass on this subject. Siguro for me, no, mas lenient pa ako ngayon. Uh, Why? Because, number one, ayaw kong pahirapan pa sa ngayon mga students. Lalo na, ito yung first, um, halos first na face-to-face natin. Hindi pa masyadong, and, and na, naintindihan ko naman yung flight ng students. So, pag masyadong maraming activity, then yung sasabay-sabay, ilang subject, pero kayo sa isang term, ani, ito, iba. So, naintindihan ko naman yun. Naintindihan ko naman yun. Dumaan naman ako yun. Um, pero siguro in, in, for the next term, I will be more strict lang when it comes to to grading. 
siguro. May mga rubric naman. And before kasi parang basta na intindihan ko na naintindihan ko yung ginagawa ko, okay na yan. Pero in the next term, siguro medyo mas magiging maigit ako. And we, we strictly follow the, the rubrics that are given to to, to this. So, parang yan. Yan. Madali lang. Madali lang pumasa. Yes. Basta basta ginagawa mo yung kailangan mong gawin mga activities and projects. Diba? Next would be since Retic will be our course, how does this course help us become successful with the profession? Actually, hindi siya um, it's ah, uh, yeah. Being ethical in real estate so will help you become successful kasi at the end of the day, if you, if you do things ethically, uh, you'll be known to be an ethical safe person or uh, ethical uh, real estate broker. You know, and people would pull up to to transact with you. you know, and could, referrals will just keep on um continuing. So literally yung referrals then. Once they know that you are ethical, you know, responsible, and professional. You know. So yeah, I think that's that that's the way why you should do things ethically. And may mga 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 makikilala ka uh, tao, individuals that would would make you either choose an unethical transaction because of a large man and ayaw kong umabot kay sa inyo. Palagi nung tandaan ang pera, pera lang yan. Na, na, na ano yan, na, na, na earn yan. No, pero yung prinsipyo, yung peace of mind, mahirap ibalik. And one wrong transaction will, wala. Pati yung reputation mo, makawala. In just one wrong transaction. No, uh, wala na, hindi ko na makabalik yan. You'll always be tagged as an ethical professional, uh, the unethical real estate salesperson. All right. Next will be will there be always always an online session? If so if I have training, could they possibly have an extended deadline if ever? Okay. Ganon din to dun sa mga ah uh, dun sa activities and everything sa the with regard to the deadline. Communicate lang. So, pag kailangan ng extra time, communicate lang. Madali okay. naman ako kausap. So, um, pero i-extend ko yan, hindi sa iyo lang, kundi sa buwas lang. So, ganun ako pumuha. Ganun ako mag-decide uh, mag on what to do. So, madali, madali lang naman yan. Madali lang kausapan. Parang gano'n. Okay. I would like to ask if you consume all three hour session. Ito, uh, depende. Sa face-to-face, yes. Uh, may break naman in between, pero yes, definitely. Kasi I want to make the most out of uh, the activities in face-to-face. Kapag online naman, usually, no, depends. No, kapag medyo interesting yung discussion, and tingin ko nag-ano pa naman kayo, nag-respond pa naman kayo, nag-share pa naman kayo, tuloy ko hanggang 3 hours. Pero I usually, uh, what we usually do is yung 1.5 hours, yun yung discussion and then the other part is a congruent activity. So kung ano mga activity yung bigay ko tayo, you can do that. Uh, either individual or group. Alright? Next. What is the expected final output of for the course? Uh, sa Retix. Sa Retix, ano lang? Exam lang, Retix. Sa Retix, Business Plan, sa Retix, Market, market Studies. Any more final output? Okay. Why? Well, uh, next. Why should more students consider taking the real estate profession? Um. For me, you know, um, why do we need real estate professionals? Number one is, malaya pa rin yung income na real estate. So it's our duty and responsibility to be able to educate the, the general public in terms or of real estate transactions. So para may wasi mga ganon. Ganon. Hindi naman ako ubus 
ang mga tao na gusto mong mag-bumili ng product. So, gano'n. So, tuloy-tuloy lang. And, I think naman, um, hindi lahat gusto sa real estate. So, uh, maraming industry dyan. Pero, siguro if you want to start a business na in the service industry, so if you want to serve and malaki yung income potential, go with it. Okay. Uh, malaki yung income potential niya. Hindi siya madali. Walang, hindi siya madali. Simple lang yung process, yung process flow, pero hindi siya madali. Pero yung income is maganda ang income potential. Right? Next. In terms of submission, will it be open just for a week or will it be open at the end of the week in terms of finance? Mm. Naka-open lang naman submission sa Big Sky. No? So, pero tayong Big Sky. So, check nyo lang. So, upload nyo lang. And, ginagawa ko kasi, um, may nakalagay ako at the end of every activity na may, may minus na pag-late. Uh, so, minus 5 points for every day na late ang submission. Okay. So, pag in-submit kayo na over-over late, so hanggang 70, hanggang sa passing grade. So, passing grade lang ay pag in-submit at late kayo. So, hindi ka naman siya sinigiro. Okay? FDA policy, wala ka tayong FDA. You're good to ask of it. But, no, I encourage you to attend class. No? Um, kasi wala kayong malutunan kung hindi kayo mag-attend ang class. Uh, meron naman, pero naman okay nung online lecture, di ba? Pero time eh. Time denied nyo. You, you make the most out of it. Actually, you know, uh, pag, pag, when you do real estate, <clears throat> when you are in the real world, mamahal yung mga trainings na na binibigay. And uh, um yung isang parang yung isang session natin it, it would take around so uh, ano ba ang usual pag one day one day na lecture siguro mga around or one day na workshop would take around mga uh, 4,000 to 5,000 uh, per person na basically na workshop so ganun siya isipin nyo na lang yun number one makakatipid kayo pag numatin kayo ng mga classes and uh kumpara pag, pag kasi lahat naman ng assumptions yung trackers nyo experience proofers yan experience interactivity yan you know? and kapag nag-talk usually may bayad you know? kapag nag-talk yan usually may bayad yan and yun nga um, bukod sa mas mura yung makukuha yung learnings na same yung makukuha outside you know? uh, kung very determined kayo to be able to become our little process, papasok, papasok kayo. So, hindi kayo mapasok ng, hindi kayo mapasok, hindi nag-a-attend ng class. Right? So, ganun siya. Okay? So, wala well, FDA, sila dito ang system, pero may mga activities sa classes na would, would, make you fail <laughs> eventually kung hindi ka talaga pumapasok sa class. So, ganun pa. Next, do you often give high grades when you think the student is very good? So, wala. Hindi ako nagbibigay ng grades. I mean, nag-grade lang ako, pero ikaw yung pumagawa ng grades. Okay. And, very objective. Regardless kung tingin ko deserving ba ng student ato or not. Kung ano lang yung ginawa mo, yun lang yung pag-grade. Again. Yeah. And di ako tumitingin sa potential. Although, di ba, alam ko naman na may potential ka in everything. Pero, you do the work. You do the work. Hindi ako nag-grade sa'yo. Ikaw yung nag-grade sa'yo. Uh, next, are you understanding about deadlines? Yeah. Especially, sana may text sa time, di ba, unexpected. Yes. Yun nga, sabi ko kayo na kung kailangan yung extra time, sabihan nyo lang sa akin. Pero yung extra time, hindi lang para sa iyo, para sa everyone. Alright? Okay. 
Uh, ito last three na to. How are you like as a professor at your institution? Eh, parang masabi ko na ito kanila. So, as a professor, mabait naman ako. Pagtulog. <laughs> mabait naman ako. Basta magpo-communicate lang kayo sa akin. May pag-usap lang kayo. Um, so, yun yan. Yung expectation ko kanina. Ano yan? <laughs> are you scary po? Mga ba akong scary? Hindi naman. Hindi naman ako nakakatakot. No? So, uh, I like yung students who, who converse, talk to me. No? Kahit, kahit wala class. You know? And who ask me something no? about about ano about, not just real estate but in 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 in, uh, in different aspects of that. okay last but not the least we have games in our class yes magawa ng mga games and activities right now so yun lang ano ba wala na so that's it thank you everyone for listening I hope may natutunan kayo and I hope nasagot ko yung mga questions niyo Meron pa tayong part 3. And so again, this is Pierre Marquis. See you in the next part. Bye-bye.